Hey everybody, it's Jason, and I've got a crate uh, update to show you guys. Uh, so over this last month, I had a bit of a roadblock. The previous terrain I was using uh, just got kind of unwieldy, especially when I start trying to generate like larger terrain, and I was like, I need a better way to do this. So I scoured the internet, found this great developer online who created uh, 21 awesome YouTube videos on uh, procedurally generating landmass. Uh, I will put a video uh, link to his stuff at the end of this one. Anyways, he did a great job, and I merged his stuff with what I was doing here, and uh, I couldn't be happier. So uh, let's take a look. So this is California, same thing, uh, but I was able to just kind of trim out a lot of the kind of area, so just keeping the same area. You can see now data that I did not collect yet is in the black. And uh, so now if I come in and I zoom down here, uh, one of the things that you can see and I'm really happy about is I got the little squares again. Uh, now the little squares is how the, it was done in Sandbox and even in the original Fire Jumpers. And I like it because it's simple, it's easy to understand, right? Uh, now in this case, for California, each one of these little pixels uh, is a four kilometer area, uh, just not quite, but uh, or, or two and a half miles, not quite, but again, roughly about that, right? So now I can even also load up uh, the map size, so just one terrain. So I come over here, uh, let's let's grab this little this little bold one here, right? And uh, oh, here we go, right? So I had a little bit of water and a little town. Oh, look at that. You know, this would be perfect, you know, to start off, right? Here's your first starting map. You know, get used to this tiny little area, uh, catches on fire, and uh, it's well contained. Uh, and you know, we can do a lot of little things with this. Um, now this again is uh, about four kilometers. Now granted that would be from like this blue area, right? But with all the padding, you know, it's, it's a little bit less, but still it's playable, right? Um, and you can see it, it, it does load quite fast, right? So you're like, okay, hey Jay, uh, what's a two by two? What does that look like? And I'm like, well, let me show you. So two by two, I'm gonna click here. So it should load these little four areas here. And yeah, there we go. So now you can see there was a bit of a town, right? So this was the original tile. Now it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger, right? Uh, again, loading really fast, right? Okay, let's go four by four, right? All right, let's go back. I'll use the same spot because then you can keep seeing the same reference, right? All right, four by four, original tile. Okay, all right, look at that, wow. All the mountains, the lakes, right? And still, you know, very fast. Like, I mean, just outrageous, right? It's great. So, um, you know, now you can you can get a, a good size, and each one of these sizes could be, you know, as you level up as uh, the incident commander, you're responsible for a larger and larger fire, and larger fires can happen in these bigger areas. So. Uh, so then you go, okay, well, you know, four by four, okay, like, you know, stop teasing us, Jay, right? You know, let's, let's do a 10, 10 by 10. That's going to be great. All right, so again, let's take a look here. And I'm going to click here. Now, this 10 by 10 is going to take a little bit longer because it's 100 of these little tiles. Oh, look at that. Still not too bad. Whoa, look at there. All right, here we go. Now we're starting to see the big picture. Again, original tile, right? And now we're starting to see San Francisco in the Bay Area, right? Original tile, 10 by 10 area. And I mean, this is all GIS, GIS data. Now, now at this scale, each one of these little squares is a 30 meter by 30 meter area. Um, 
So this is this is a lot of data. This is a lot of data, right? And you know, this is pretty cool. I you know, this is great, right? All right. Now that 10 now comes back to the original uh, California map, which is kind of a two by three area again, right? So now let's come back here. And of course, let's try a 20, right? 20 size map. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, kind of pause the video and kind of load it because this one will take uh, a little bit longer uh, to load than, than the other one. Let's see here. All right, so I just kind of paused the video while it kind of loaded. Um, and so here we go. So now we've got uh, this area right here. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a 20 by 20 tile map. So again, this is the original tile here. And then when we combine them all together, we can get such a huge map, so much detail all here, California. Now, um, remember uh, I've done Mount Diablo? This is Mount Diablo. Okay, so for those of who don't know where it is, it's, it's right here. And I mean, it is awesome. So, I mean, you know, you can play in just this area here, right? And and the frame rate is pretty decent as long as you don't get like too much. And 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 the idea is that I I have maximum distance. Like I I'm just trying to show everything. Uh, I can I can change the settings so that I don't have to see as far. Like the whole map is loaded, but I'm not looking that far, so I can keep the frame rate. Just see as 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 I look closely to to look at just this what's in this area I can keep the frame rate pretty high and yeah here we go this is all Mount Diablo here um, yeah so it's kind of fun to see it like that and then yes and then of course this massive massive area now I have built a 50 by 50 but uh, uh, unfortunately uh, you know the, the screen capture tool uh, and this together at that size makes it uh, quite choppy. So, but uh, again, it is it is quite nice to see at this at this scale. And you know, again, when I come back to to the login, right here it is. There's California. This is how much I've been able to compress. Why each square? is four kilometers, right? So yeah, uh, that is about it. Um, thank you for listening. Okay, okay, I totally lied. I was totally gonna build a 50 by 50 map. So here it is. Now you have to understand the frame rate is not gonna be that great. Uh, it's okay here, because I'm nice and local. And I haven't turned around, but here we go. So here is a 50 by 50. In fact, it's so big that it is beyond the distance. Of what I can see here. And again, when I'm not screen capturing, it is a little bit faster. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. All right. So this is now I, I I can just imagine what this would look like on a fast gaming computer. This size map. See now it's starting to hide some of the tiles because it's too far. Let's see here. like a satellite picture here there we go okay 
Now I I am I'm looking at every vertice that there are here. So what am I? I'm at one one point seven frames per second. But I, I've got nearly ten million vertices. I mean that's just a ridiculous. So again, if I'm here and I come down and if I keep my view area close, then things are quite fast still, right? It's just try not to look at too much at a time. But yeah, here we go, right? So we're just coming all the way back to the beginning right here. And oh, don't look too much. Don't look up. Don't look up. <laughs> but yes, but amazing if I do start looking up. Kills the frame rate. Upside down here. Let's see. Now again, I I don't exactly see. You know, this this is probably just a bit too big. Remember, like the other one with the twenty by twenty. Right, that came up to here. We're like, hey, there's Mount Diablo, right? Like, right in San Francisco and San Jose. Over here, you can't even see it anymore. We've got, I don't, I don't even know what any of these other towns are. But anyway, you can just see. It is just, just massive. But, uh, but awesome, I think. So please leave your comments and I will... See you next time. Cheers.